My name is Werner Weiss Sedivi. I have done a basic education in uh, electronical engineering at the Technical University in Vienna. I've done some postgraduate um, postgraduate studies uh, on the topic of knowledge management, on, on semantics, on semantic technologies. Um, from the professional aspect of uh, my career, uh, I've started in parallel to my studies at the Technical University to create some uh, hardware um, which was uh, sent up to the mirror. So we, we did uh, engineering and manufacturing uh, of the motor mirror, uh, which went up to the uh, spacecraft mirror in 1991. Um, so uh, from that time on, um, uh, I've always was in some way uh, working with devices and uh, on the topic of, of uh, making devices communicate and uh, making devices, uh, delivering values or uh, being remote controlled. Um, I have uh, worked as a software developer, as a hardware developer, and uh, as a pre-sales and sales guy sometime. Um, I've got a family, I've got three kids. I'm 40, flat, 40 years, yeah. Currently, we are working on uh, the, the Twitter for Things, so that's our main focus, our mission. Um, Twitter for Things uh, is short texting uh, and short texting things, things short texting you. So that you will receive information on the state of devices, on the inner state of devices, and that you could uh, remote control those devices by short text. Um, we are uh, in the first year of operations. We have started in uh, late November 2010 as a company um, with our project, uh, which was in some way, um, uh, so it was a, a successor of some, uh, some other projects. We started about two and a half years ago, uh, a kind of a, a hobby level in parallel to, to other uh, professions. Uh, we are three uh, at the time being, so uh, two of us being f fully engaged on the topic of twins, and the third uh, partner is about, uh, uh, let's say, a quarter or 20% of his time engaged in twins. So we have got, um, at the, the, the time of creating the company, you have to bring in money, if it's a kind of a, a company um, which has this setup, so uh, it's called a GmbH, and we've brought in that money. And uh, our incubator, Christian Leib, also brought in uh, some small amount of money. Uh, then we have contracted with a bank, with a, a local bank, <coughs> and uh, this bank has um, offered us a, uh, a kind of loan at a very good rate uh, for. Uh, creating the basics of the company and for making it up and running. Um, and currently, uh, we are negotiating with a set of two business angels and with a public funding company on the next steps of, of evolving and on the next steps of, of uh, ramping up the company and um, hiring developers. And um, yeah, we are uh, located in. Vienna environment and Vienna itself, uh, in Linz and in Zurich. So most of the first contacts happen via social media. So uh, you might be aware of uh, the different business angel lists that are available on, on Twitter, for instance. There are. <laughs> um, and. Um, it, if you have a look at uh, some of the, let's say, um, front personas of such companies, they always have got their uh, Twitter accounts and they are pretty fast on interacting with Twitter. So, um, for instance, Reshma Sohoni or uh, other, other uh, ladies and girls and guys of, of that uh, profession. Um, yeah, we um, are... Usually the first step 
uh, takes place uh, either on the on the digital social network or on the physical social network. So of course relations are important, and I think we could not have made uh, the bank loans contract without uh, being personally introduced there, because banks are usually uh, pretty conservative, and uh, yeah, without that introduction, I guess we did we could not have made that. But we have been introduced, and it was it was a, a good uh, contact we have got there. Of course, <laughs> of course, um, we prepare in uh, terms of what is their uh, investment portfolio. So what have they already invested in, and we only so we only talk to investors who have got some understanding of. Uh, that what we want to introduce them and we check this up front so uh, if there is an investor who is generally let's say investing in blue chips oil companies or something like that 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 might not work for uh, technology seed phase and if you check this up front you could save a huge amount of time at the first introduction we do not share our business plan uh, we share a small textual description and this sh small textual description um, is usually enough for creating a, a webex or a teleconference or maybe a, a physical appointment um, and before we share the text uh, we've already checked if uh, the investor has got some track record in the B2C, uh, in the web-based B2C uh, um, field or uh, in a specific B2B field, for instance, uh, marketing, interactive marketing agencies or something like that. Um, and then we share a, a small amount of text which describes what we do, what the value proposition is, what our customers are. And uh, in the first uh, Webex or in the first conf call, we uh, uh, we walk through a, a pitch book, a slide deck, uh, which we call pitch book, which includes um, the the main uh, aspects of our offering, the main aspects of the market, of the consumers in that market, and the main aspects of the current state we are in. We're currently looking for uh, 300k, 300k of euros, um, for um, ramping up our business this year with a target of uh, six to ten developers in the end of the year. Um, and this 300k has to be uh, f fresh money from from the outside. Uh, if we cannot cope with that up to summer then we have to um, step into another uh, version, another um, um, derivative of that plan, which is uh, very much focused on, on making small marketing projects one after the other in parallel to creating the technology. It should be about uh, 10 to maximum 15%. You should not start with uh, with trying to get a business angel. You should start with trying to get others so much interested in that topic you are you are pursuing that they want to join you, that they are keen on joining. So um, I, I like the the uh, format uh, very much that Start Europe has created. So that Start Life Weekend, where they created. Uh, uh, a format of pitching in 90 seconds so you introduce yourself you introduce what you're targeting for and uh, you mention whom are you looking for to co-work for the next two days with you and if you get enough people um, from that in, in, in Vienna it was about 200 220 people if you get enough people uh, of that addressed audience uh, who want to work with you two days without any financial um, compensation, then uh, the topic is interesting. And um, with that, what you are working on and maybe the, the results of that two days, 
you could approach business angels because it's a, a, another a kind of um, yeah another level of uh, uh, getting people engaged uh, on that basis and if you able to attract people on that basis you are also kind of automatically able to attract business angels.